Hello world, it's Devish and this video is collaborated with Programming Knowledge. Hit subscribe for getting updates regarding latest video on this channel. You can also subscribe my channel Linux School for AI. Link is given in the description below. Now let's see what is supervised learning. Basically for understanding supervised learning, you should take an example. If you want to learn something, first of all you take some solved example and uh, understand first solved example then used to try uh, some questions on it so basically when you go to school and teacher is teaching some topic so he she he or she always give you some example for it and then provide you question to solve in similar fashion for computers we used to provide uh, training attributes along with target attributes this phase is known as training and in supervised learning, we used to provide data set uh, in which we, we, we give training attribute and as well as target attribute such that each training example is associated with their target label. And we apply that learning relationship on the new attribute data to predict the corresponding target attributes. Mathematically, we used to formulate a function f such that it maps from training attributes to target attributes that is from x to y and then after we get that function we used to take some unknown examples that is unknown x and used to predict uh, y for the same the ultimate goal of the supervised learning is to predict y with a maximum accuracy given the new input x and how we will calculate it we first calculate function f such that it properly maps x with y for the training example and after do, after getting that function which properly ma maps with x to y for the training phase then we used to test it on the testing phase and used to predict the actual y for any uh, unknown training attribute so for training we have 80 to 20 percent ratio in which 80 percent is training data and rest is testing data so we used to feed 80 percent of input data as a training phase and 20% as a testing phase and basically check at uh, our model using this remaining 20% data. So basically supervised learning are of two types classification and regression. In classification we basically classify what type of output it is whether it belongs to some class 1 or class 2 or class 3. For example, we can uh, have an example of binary classification, example spam classifier. So in spam classifier, we used to classify that the email is spam or not. Nowadays, Gmail has a multi classification for classify, cla classifying mail such as social promotion updates and form. So it classify more than one category. Hence, it is a uh, type of multi classifier. Now let's see what is regression. So basically, uh, in classification we used to have discontinuous values uh, so basically in classification we have discontinuous values discontinuous value for example we have particular classification classes but here in regression we have continuous value so user can get any of the output value and it should be a continuous because in regression we used to have a continuous function that is f should be a continuous so uh, and the evaluation is done for the same by calculating the error value and as the smaller is the error the better is our regression model so there are some supervised learning algorithms which are as follows linear regression logistic regression random forest decision tree neighbors classifier k nearest neighbor support vector machine and neural networks so basically in neural networks multi-layer perceptron networks which we will cover in upcoming videos thank you